In this video, I'm going to blow up this city. No, not quite like that yet. We're going to be putting to use all of the essential city growth tips into practice. And by the end of this video, Berlin should be a huge city. The first thing to do is to establish a minor rail hierarchy. So basically, your big cities, or in our case, capital cities, we're going to try and connect up. So I've got Berlin and over here is Paris, but we don't actually own Paris. This will come in later. So this gives us a fantastic opportunity. We currently have this track here, which is bringing iron down to our steelworks, which we can also use for passengers. The big deal here is we can reuse this line multiple times and there's two cities along this track. And another great thing about this is by establishing a main line, we can also use this track as a direct route from Berlin over to Paris when we eventually get it and we can have a slow route that splits off and goes to Hanover then to Cologne and then it joins on back in Paris and that means our trains can go much faster down this main line and the more speed equals more passenger numbers that's going to make us money and it's going to make us population and this station is going to have to get a little bit bigger three lines on two tracks it's getting a bit much this is obviously not quite the most efficient station that we could ever build but remember this has been here from the start and the city is a lot bigger than it used to be so the first thing that I'm going to do is connect Berlin to Krakow I'm going to get a station place down because then we can gauge where the track should be built in relation to the station that's a bit of a rhyme there I didn't even mean to do that so if we get a two track station we'll slide this along a little bit just so it's in line with the available space see how now if, if I place a track it's not intersecting with the military base and now we can grab a new road and connect this to the station and then this track's going to come probably down this sort of way so I'll connect these up and then we'll grab a little crossover just at the end here so the trains are able to get into the station we'll have to put a signal here as well I'm going to adjust this bus route as well as so it goes to the station make a new line and as simple as that let's get a new train it looks like we've still got the soldier train which we aren't using we could use that it might be a bit of a gamble but hopefully we, we are going to be making some good money so we could afford another one of these trains later on we'll save it just for now because it's not that important but it might come in handy later so i'm going to go to modify and we're going to stick all of these carriages onto the plm for now and the prius we will use as our train we'll grab some passenger cars as well so one two three of those buy that and that's going to go on to berlin to krakow mission one done and now for like two of passenger connections we're not going to complete this whole section but we're going to do just enough so we get some more people rolling in this route to start off is going to look like this but later on it'll look much more like this this is like i say because of train hierarchy i'm also going to connect hanover and eventually extend this to cologne but for now just hanover works that track is now connected let's get a train I'm gonna have to buy a new one this time I haven't got any left over We'll go for the regular old Prius. We're going to get some of these good ones eventually, but Prius works for now. That's now in. This train station is getting very busy for a two-track platform. But it's not crumbling just yet. There's still plenty of room, so we should be okay for a minute or two. But this is so going to have to expand soon. I'm also going to make Berlin City Bus much better route-wise and also double it up so there's one going backwards, one going forwards. And we don't really have any problems with private transport. Let's start doing the fun bit. Let's get to industries. I've got all of the vanilla industries to work with as well as some modern industries as well. So in vanilla transport fever 2 industries are going to spawn randomly all over the map. But in this series we're actually allowed to place industries using the sandbox tool so long as where they're placed meet specific criteria. For example oil wells must be placed on ground with black spots like over here. But with that said it's practically the exact same thing and the tips work just the same in vanilla. As this right side of the city is going to mostly be a commercial area, let's get down the sorting centre over here. Now we can't put it too close to the city because we'll get bad emissions, but not too far away because it'll cost too much money to bring the stuff in. So if we find about the right spot, we should get it perfect. And honestly, I think here's pretty good. These platforms are big because they're going to be storing a lot of stuff. This stuff's going to get picked up here. We'll get some small platforms as well just to drop things off. This looks awesome already so let's connect this to berlin berlin mail drop off and berlin mail pickup we've already got some in storage from the last battle we had we're not using anymore we'll give them a nice mail color as well and now let's connect this mail system up to this goods factory so then we can distribute to different cities this is going to be good and now to connect the steel whoo that was a pricey one okay yes technically i could have run the train through berlin but there's already enough traffic over there already we might as well just keep some more traffic away from it for a sec it's going to be a pretty busy line as it is because it's an industrial line so we might as well that's ready to go we'll grab a train just like this one for this line okay this is officially getting pretty busy around here next job we're going to reuse this steel hub we're going to add some tracks to it boom sorted 
Now the goods that get made here are going to get dragged all the way back and get dropped off over here. Then they're going to get picked up and then get driven down to the mail sorting centre. A little slip road for the vehicle so they don't have to go through the city and pollute it. We'll grab a train that's going to pick the goods up. Still nothing fancy just yet. And then drop them off here. And then we'll carry these over from this goods pickup to Berlin sorting facility. And if we chuck these vehicles on here, we'll maybe buy a few more as well. Then this line is all ready to go. And next on the list, a super easy one is going to be construction materials, which we're going to build some more houses out of. Like I mentioned earlier, certain industries need to be in certain spots. Stone mines need to be on hills with snow on the top of them. And so we'll grab a stone mine and place it around here. Oh, it is getting busy around here. This is flowing much smoother now I've put that slip lane in. The bricks factory's in. Now we can pick up the stone and bring it over here. And then now we can add a nice little drop off for the bricks and that's that done. Yet another industry. And once this is all ready as well, I'll press play and we'll see the absolute carnage first of all that unveils. And secondly, we'll see just how efficient and just how good at scoring the city this is actually going to be. And like every video, I do my favourite comment. So this time my favourite comment is from Stuis who says, Very good video and I hope the series lasts for a while. Thanks very much Stuis. And if you guys want to be in the next video, make sure to leave a comment. Now because we started providing the city with bricks, it's going to get really big really quickly. If we have a massive city, what we don't want is for the people to starve. That would be very bad. So what we'll do is we'll get a farm. It doesn't have to be a huge farm. It could just be quite small for the time being. And that's also nice and close to Berlin. So it's not far for the trucks to go. Another great spot is over here, this plot of land. But we'll use this one later on because it's probably further away for the trucks to drive. I'm liking the look of this. But people can't eat grain. They've got to eat food. So we need to process the food. I really like this spot here, but we're going to have to clean this road up a little bit because it's slightly in the way. There we go. This is looking great. And now we'll connect the two up. Farm to bread. And then up from the bread to the sorting centre. And then the sorting centre should automatically ship out the goods to the town. That's the benefit of planning, guys. Grab some vehicles for the route. And that leaves us with nothing super easy left to do. We've done all the easy ones. It's the hard ones like fuel, heavy machinery. Which, by the way, we can use for tanks and planes and stuff like that later on. That's a good one. And tools. Tools is definitely the easiest out of those lot. We've still got power plants and stuff we can do, but we don't need the power because we haven't, we, we're not doing electric trains. We're still fine using steam trains and we don't need fuel because my trains don't run on fuel. They run on coal. So we're good for now. All we need is coal. Coal power for the win. Over here by the stone mine is a forest. Let's chop some of these trees down and we can get the wood out of it. We're also going to need a sawmill, of course. We're placing down a sawmill, so we're probably best off placing this in a hub area because refined wood is a very common resource. It's used in a lot of products. I think down here is pretty good. Wood to saw. And then a tools factory needs to go in as well. I'm going to keep it nice and simple and place it down over here, I think. It's a pretty good spot for it. Saw to tool. And Berlin tool to sort. We'll grab some vehicles for all of those routes. Might have to take a loan out for this one. Okay, and with that said, I believe it is time to press the magic button and, uh, and begin. Let's see, uh, just the amount of, first of all, the amount of vehicles that are going to come out of this depot. Second of all, the massive amounts of debts we're about to get into for the maintenance of these vehicles before they reach their destination. I wonder what it's going to be. Place your predictions in the comments. I'm going to say it's going to be at least minus 10 million in maintenance before we start making a return on this. Let's go in three, two, one, play. The convoy has begun, ladies and gentlemen. That is a lot of vehicles. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good at all. Here come the farm vehicles. Hi guys. Here comes this little guy. He's going to pick some steel up. Okay, how are we doing? Minus 9.8 million and uh, minus 11 million. We have gone past my prediction, folks. It is getting hectic. The roads are getting very chocker. <laughs> this platform's busy bloody hell. Oh my days, it's so busy. I'm not complaining, but it's... Wow. Look at this. <laughs> this train's literally waiting outside the station to get in right now. This is what I love about Transport Fever 2. You can have so much going on and it can be a headache to understand, but once it works, crikey, it works. Apart from when you're waiting for the funds to come back in and you're minus 12.5 million in debt, that's always fun. What? It's actually working, no way. Actually working. Okay, almost double my prediction right now. 20 million. Yikers. Okay. Well, what's important is it will recover. Wow, we have got so much done. This whole area has been transformed. Look at the lines. That's incredible. All just spreading out like a spider's web from Berlin. And this is going to be every city sooner or later. How are we looking at finances, actually? Pretty good. And then you scroll up, it's like, whoa, no. But not too bad, actually. Another really easy thing we can do to make a town grow bigger is to give it more space to grow. 
So obviously houses can only be built alongside roads. Let's just give them some more roads. And that is going to make Berlin grow so quickly. Now there's plenty of room to build houses. So let me unveil some big plans for you. Once we've developed this area some more, we're going to have small little communities which are going to feed in to the city centre to make it bigger. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Looking forward to it. Okay, so this city is going to grow huge by the next time you see it. But what we don't have right now is great defence. And the enemy is definitely going to be attacking soon. So I want you guys to go to the community section on my channel and vote. Shall we attack north and take over Paris, which is near a weapons factory, a strategic resource, so that might be important. Or should we go south, where we can claim better defences, as if we take over one of the towns the enemy has, there's a mountain range behind it we can use for great cover, and it will take the advantage away from the enemy in the south. It's a tricky question, but go to my community section and vote for what happens next. Let's get 250 votes before the next video. Thanks for watching, and you can see the next video here.